main hope for 2018. I am always been passionate about gender equality and I think the Time's Up movement will be, I think, an inspirational, action-oriented movement to help women um, achieve equality, not to triumph at men's expense, but to raise their voices and feel like they can work in an environment, in an industry that is a fantastic industry for them to thrive in. And it feels like a very positive force, that's my hope. And I hope it does well. I think it is well-meaning. It's a well-intended campaign. I hope that we see a lot more collaboration. I'm really encouraged by Thinkbox big TV um, session that's going to be in February because it's ITV, Channel 4 and Sky on a stage together thinking how they can work together to help TV and advertisers in general. So I find that very encouraging and I'm very hopeful about that as well. And I'm hopeful that the debate around um, fake news, false news moves on and we start to realise that trust in premium news environments is a really precious commodity and we start to learn to revalue that trust and work out how to reward that accordingly in all the media that we now plan because editorial integrity and quality content is really important and I'm hopeful that rises back up to the fore. So my hopes for 2018 will be, be that uh, this will be the year that uh, Google and Facebook will take responsibility uh, as media owner publishers uh, and not just take the money. So I think that would make a massive change for the, for the better uh, in the whole media industry. We go back to respecting audiences. So uh, I think there's been, you know, we've got so excited about the technology in a lot of cases, we've forgotten about the audience experience. And whatever media it's in, uh, we need to respect audiences and value their experience. They're such an important part uh, of advertising. Advertising can't be effective unless we do that. There will be some pretty dramatic changes on uh, equality uh, and seeing uh, improved uh, diversity and inclusion in the industry, but primarily that is about the number of women in creative departments. I am absolutely convinced that if we can get more women into creative departments, the quality of our output will be uh, more representative, more creative, more entertaining, everybody will benefit. My hope is that what is sometimes disparagingly called the legacy media, by which I think may, mainly people mean that media that have been proven effective over the years, like television and radio and newspapers and, and magazines and, uh, and outdoor, that they will come back into the fort again because they are very, very effective. There's an awful lot of hype said about the digital media, some of which is very effective, but an awful lot is overblown. And I just think all of those media really deserve to be recognised in a way that I don't think they have been for a few years. My hope is that 2018 will in retrospect be seen as the year in which the tide turned against fake news in all of its manifestations. The people began to realise just how important checked, curated media is and be prepared to pay for it. Otherwise, we've got serious major problems in any democratic society.